Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. When you reach top level in the next World of Warcraft expansion Legion, which is 110, you'll gain access to the zone of Suramar, an incredible place with an absolutely amazing story attached to it. And it's also home to a race of people called the Nightborn, who hold a terrifying secret. You see, they are complete and utterly addicted to a resource called Ancient manner. If the Nightborn do not receive regular doses of this resource, then they will physically and mentally break down, eventually turning them into the Twisted Withered, a zombie-esque version of their race incapable of rational thought or deed. This will also have a serious impact on any Nightborn that might be a friendly NPC, because if they are not regularly fed, in this case once a day in game time, then they'll no longer be able to provide you with quests, allow you to hand the quests in, allow you to gain buffs from them, or participate in any world questing that involves that character. When you first start off in Suramar, you'll only be able to hold a small amount of ancient mana, a couple of hundred at best. But as you progress through the zone, through storyline, questing, exploration, you'll be able to find and will be rewarded additional items that will increase the capacity of ancient mana that you can hold, up to a grand total of 2,000. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what to look out for to farm your ancient mana, the best ways to go about it if you want to do it in organic fashion, i.e. simply by questing and exploring Suramar as a whole, and also for those people that just want to hardcore farm it, the best place to go to get the most resources in the shortest period of time. All that would be broken up by time code in the description box down below. So let's deal with the fundamentals first. Upon arriving in Surama, you'll get a quest pretty much straight away, which will reward you upon completion with this item, a Mana Divining Stone. When you use it, you'll gain a buff that will allow you to track ancient mana nodes on your minimap. There you go, I've just used it, and two nodes have immediately appeared. They show up in the form of those small yellow circles. Now, Surama is the only zone where you're able to get ancient mana, but this buff will remain on your character no matter where you are. So there's absolutely no reason to dismiss it at all. But if you do, do remember to reactivate it with the Divining Stone. So with that said, and with the nodes tracked, what exactly do they look like? Well, they're crystalline in appearance and purpley in colour, and they come in various shapes and sizes. This one here is quite distinct and is called a Mana Shard. You can tell a Mana Shard because it has a very pointy top. If you were to loot this, then it would directly give you 10 ancient mana. This one here is an ancient mana chunk, and it's a lot more rounded than the shard, and if you were to loot this, then you'll directly get 20 ancient mana. So why am I saying directly for the shard and for the chunk? Well, these here are the ancient mana crystals, similar in appearance to the chunks, but much larger in size. And when you loot these items, instead of directly getting ancient mana, instead you'll get a physical item. And depending on which crystal you looted, it can either be for 50 ancient mana, 100 ancient mana, or for 150 ancient mana. But these items can be placed in your bag and used at any time, or even sold on the auction house. Next, we have a zonal buff that can be picked up from Arcanist Voltros. If she isn't suffering from any sort of withdrawal symptoms, then it will only cost you 10 ancient mana to pick up, and it's called Leyline Mastery. As you saw earlier in the video, if she is suffering from withdrawal symptoms, it will cost 50 ancient mana to bring her around for 24 hours However, the buff will also be included in that. And the Leyline Mastery attracts the power of ancient ley lines, causing ley line rifts to appear during combat. You gain ancient mana while standing in the ley line rifts, and enemies take periodic damage. So if you were to attack a mob, suddenly a rift would explode underneath you, and all you have to do is stand on top of it 
and continue your fighting. You will gain small amounts of ancient mana as you stand on them, and you get between around 9 to 12 ancient mana per proc. Bearing in mind, of course, that this is an hour-long buff, as long as you don't leave Suramar, then there should be plenty of ancient mana to collect, even if you had to spend 50 to bring Voltros back to reality. Another really helpful item that you can get to aid your quest of gathering ancient mana can be purchased from First Arcanist Thelisra when you hit Honoured Reputation with the Knight Fallen, and it's called Boon of the Mana Seeker. It's actually a shoulder enchant that will allow you to collect mana tinge packs from the corpses of the creatures that you kill. Now, these packs drop semi-regularly, and it's a slight risk reward because they're not guaranteed to have ancient mana inside. However, they do tend to more often than not. And when they do have them, they also tend to be in large quantities, at least three figures. And I've seen it go to excess of 360 ancient mana per pack. And the great thing about these mana tinge packs is even if you hit the total that you can carry, the pack will still remain and it will just close back up. So that ancient mana can be stored and used at a later time when you need it. Now here's an additional couple of tip bits for you. Always be on the lookout for mana infused creatures. You can easily tell who they are by this effect that they have at their feet. Defeat them and they'll drop about 15 or so ancient mana as opposed to the regular one to three that mobs normally do. Also, on top of that, herbalists, miners, Farming nodes here will also gain you small amounts of ancient mana. And skinners, skinning creatures, also has the possibility to reap some extra ancient mana as well. So with the organic guide done and dusted, what if you just want to hardcore farm some ancient mana and get it ASAP? Well, this area that I've got circled on the map on the northern district of Suramar City is actually the vineyards. And this is the perfect place to come farming if you want large quantities of ancient mana in a very short amount of time. Now, the reason why this area is so good is the fact that it has three main farmable items in close proximity to each other with low respawn timers on them and they all yield vast amounts of ancient mana upon farming. First of all, there is the Lay Petal Powder which can be found on tables with regularity. I think this is some sort of ancient mana cocaine from what I can gather. Uh, there's also the Lay Petal Blossom which is a flower that everybody can lose. You don't have to be a herbalist to do that. And finally, the coup de gras, which is the twice fortified arc wine. And even though this area will no doubt get very popular during Legion for farming, the fact of the matter is because it stretches out over a period of distance, you can find your own little niche area to go farming and you should be in, out, with a full complement of ancient mana before you know it. So there you go, there's my definitive guide to farming ancient mana in World of Warcraft's next expansion, Legion. And I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do get a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Links, there in the description down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.